Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am joining you today from sunny Kos and I am going to be sharing with you my designer sunglasses collection because what better place to film a video for sunglasses? <laughs> Right now I've got quite a few pairs of sunglasses to share with you guys today and quite a lot of them were bought from World Duty Free. Now obviously buying things from World Duty Free means that you do have that 20% tax free discount so it is always a good idea to buy your sunglasses from World Duty Free which is why the majority of mine come from there. Now I'm going to run through them all in order of brand. So the first brand I'm going to start with is Celine and I have four pairs from Celine. The first pair are these these are celine thin preppies now i don't know why they're called thin preppy because they're actually quite a chunky frame but i have these in the tortoise shell which is actually called havana they're beautiful they're quite heavy they are an acetate frame and then they have a slightly graduated lens um, but they're kind of this big sort of film star size lens which is really really nice these have a 52 millimeter lens and these retail for about £190. Obviously, the price will vary depending on which retailer you go for. Right, Celine pair number two are the Baby Audrey's, which are essentially a slightly smaller version of the Thin Preppies. As you can see, this frame is ever so slightly smaller. They're not quite as chunky, they're just on a slightly smaller scale. Now, the lens size on these is 45mm, and I bought them in the classic black, but of course, they do also come in the Havana, and I think they come in in one other colour as well, a slightly more clear frame, but I can't remember what that's called, so apologies. Now these ones retail for about £245. Right, my third pair of Celine sunglasses are the Celine Edge. Now these have become quite an it pair of sunglasses at the moment. They have this very angular cat eye frame, and if I just turn to the side profile, you can see that they actually stick out away from your face a little bit which is really unusual i just love them cat eye sunglasses are having a real moment right now and they're just so chic and they can really elevate a look now the lenses on these measure 51 millimeters and these obviously i have them in black but i think they also come in an electric blue which is quite scary and actually if i'm being honest i think they're a little bit tacky i think the black is the best way to go now, the only downside of these is that they're currently retailing for around about £350, which is crazy expensive, but they are very classic. They're a cat eye shape, so they're not really ever going to go out of style. I personally think they're worth the money, but then again, I am a sunglasses fiend. Now, on to my fourth and final pair of Celine's, and these are actually a pair of aviators, which I think not many people know exist. I'm not sure if they're new or not. These are called the small mirrors. Now, they don't seem very small. These actually seem quite big to me, but this is my most recent pair of Celine's to add to my Celine collection and they have a slightly graduated lens and a gold frame and the branding on these is so so subtle there's nothing on the lenses at all just a very small logo printed on the side of one arm now the lens size on these is 58 millimeters and these are costing around about 185 pounds right now i'm going to move on to my favorite sunglasses brand which of course is ray-ban you can't beat ray-ban for classics i have nine pairs of ray-bans slightly excessive but yes nine pairs and this was my first ever pair this is the classic aviator now the lenses on these are 58 millimeters but they do also come in a larger size and a smaller size depending on your face shape now these come in at around about 85 pounds which is such a reasonable price ray-ban are also really really durable so if you're looking for a really good pair of summer sunglasses i would always always recommend checking out ray-ban ray-ban's number Number two are classic Ray-Ban rounds. Now I have these with the black lenses, the black frames, and the hardware on these is silver, which kills me because I love these sunglasses so much and I would wear them so much more 
if they had gold hardware. I'm not actually sure if the gold hardware exists, but I have another pair of round hybrids, which I will show you guys in a minute, but such a good shape. I do love a round pair of sunglasses. I just find that that shape really suits my face. These are so lightweight. They're really durable. I've sat on these God knows how many times. They're just a really good all rounder for summer. Now the lens size on these is 49 millimeters and these come in at 118 pounds. Right, Ray-Bans number three, and these are the ones which I was just referring to. These are the Club Round. So this is a hybrid between the Ray-Ban Clubmaster and the Ray-Ban Metal Round. So we've got a half and half situation going on here. Now I love these. They're so lightweight. They have gold hardware and part gold frames. So of course they match my gold jewellery theme. I just love these. They are one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses. Now the lens size on these is 51 millimeters, which I think is around about the perfect kind of size for my shape of face. I have a heart shaped face. <laughs> and these are 136 pounds. Right, now on to pair number four. The round double bridge. This is my most no they're not that's a lie i was going to say these are my most recent ray-bans they're not they're my second to most recent pair of ray-bans that was almost a tongue twister right so these have a gold frame and as you can see these are the ones that i was talking about when i was discussing the mirrored aviators earlier these do have i think the lens is called copper but it's very much a rose gold mirrored lens which is amazing now the lens size on these is 51 millimeters so again that perfect size lens shape for my face and these ones come in at 145 pounds and i believe these ones are quite a new style as well so for any of you ray-ban buffs or ray-ban collectors out there like myself this could potentially be next on your list okay pair number five these are actually my most recent pair and these are called jar joe now as you guys can see these do have a slightly larger size lens these are 55 millimeters so they are a little bit bigger than the ray-ban rounds and they're very kind of what was the era when woodstock was was it 60s or 70s i was gonna say i can't remember i wasn't alive but I can't remember just from you know looking in magazines and stuff but yeah I feel like they're very Woodstock very hippie like I should have a little braid in my hair and be skipping around a field or something in a floaty dress but yeah they're really really gorgeous very very lightweight so if you don't like something heavy on your face these are perfect and these are 127 pounds and if you go on the Ray-Ban website I think you can kind of mix and match the lenses and the frame colour so that's a good thing about Ray-Ban just in case you didn't know you can kind of make your own sunglasses essentially right pair number six and I'm gonna show you guys the case for these because this is the little case. These are my favorite sunglasses. You will all know this. The reason they are my favorite sunglasses is because they fold up. So these are my Ray-Ban Metal Round Folding. So these have a 50 millimeter lens size and I just love them. My Instagram speaks for itself. I don't think I need to express how much I love these sunglasses. Last summer, I probably wore them every single day. So the rest of my sunglasses collection felt very neglected. They are just an excellent all rounder for me personally. I think that the shape suits my face. I just love them. Right, Ray-Ban pair number seven. I actually feel a bit mean showing you guys these because I don't believe you're going to be able to buy them. These are the Meteors. Now the Meteors were a style that I believe were out back in the 80s and they brought out these limited edition or re-editions should I say, only 200 pieces of them. So I feel really lucky to have these. Now I'm not entirely sure on the lens size on these because they're no longer available. I couldn't actually find the description online and I also couldn't find my tape measure so apologies for that big time um, but I do know that they were £188 Ray-Bans number eight and I have another pair of Ray-Ban rounds now these are the classic Ray-Ban rounds these are not the folding ones these are my fun sunglasses I'll tell you what these are these are kind of like if I were to ever to go to a festival these would be my festival sunglasses. So again, these have that perfect size of 50 millimeters round lenses and they have a gold frame along with that 
jazzy <laughs> mirrored lens. And price-wise, these are £145. So you're saving around about £30 by not having the folding version. On to my last pair of Ray-Bans, pair number nine. And this is the only pair of Ray-Bans that I have from the Polarized collection. Now these ones are a metal frame. They are incredibly lightweight. It literally doesn't even feel like I've got a pair of sunglasses on my face, which is amazing. And the lens size on these is a tiny bit bigger. It's 54 millimeters, so slightly bigger than some of the rounds that I featured, but not quite as big as those big round Woodstock glasses from earlier. And with these being from the Polarized collection, these are slightly more expensive. They come in at around about £163. Right, moving away from Ray-Ban now and on to a pair of Lispex cat eye sunglasses. So these ones are from the collaboration with Adam Selman and these are the must-have cat eye sunglasses of the season in fact lots of high street brands have replicated this exact style for a slightly cheaper price but actually these ones in terms of price aren't that bad for a designer pair of sunglasses I picked these up in Selfridges I'd say about a couple of months ago before they completely sold out. They are still available in some stores. I will pop some links below just in case you're desperate to get your hands on these. But I bought these from Selfridges a couple of months ago for £75. I think £75 is not bad at all for a pair of designer sunglasses. And now on to Dolce and Gabbana. Now, these ones are, well, they feel ginormous. These have quite a lot of coverage around the eyes. So if you're looking for a pair of sunglasses, which does have a lot of coverage around the eyes to protect those little blinkers from the sun, then these are definitely a really good option for you. They're also incredibly lightweight. These are 55 millimeters. So they're very much that kind of old school Hollywood glamour film star sort of look. If you're the sort of person that wears a big like wide brimmed hat whilst you're on holiday, these sunglasses look excellent with that kind of look. And price wise, these ones were £178. And on to my final pair of sunglasses and actually I think I have saved one of the best till last. So these are by Saint Laurent and they are amazing. This is one of my latest pairs of sunglasses. Look at that logo. I mean, you can't miss it really, can you? <laughs> it's ginormous. They are a slightly bigger frame and similarly to the Celine sunglasses, they are quite heavy. It's quite thick, heavy acetate. To be honest, I probably wouldn't be bothered by that. I, I quite like a chunky pair of sunglasses. So the lens size on these is 55 millimeters. So they do offer a little bit more coverage around the eyes. And in terms of price, they were 220 pounds. Right guys, that is it from me for today. I'm gonna go and lounge in this beautiful sunshine and make the most of it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you've got any questions at all about any of the sunglasses that I featured or about any sunglasses in general, I do see myself as quite a sunglasses expert do leave me a comment in the comment section below and i will get back to you asap but thank you very much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye quick it, quick it. Judith, Judith, Judith. at place like leaves leaves <laughs>